Hello, replay viewers. Come join us live on TikTok on the Black Woman in Grants page. We would love to have you there. Welcome, all of our livers. How are you? Come on in, say hello. Let's hang for a bit. You ready? I'm excited. Just about grants in general, talking about it. I've been looking through my old YouTube channel and just the nearly 1,000 videos we have on our channel. I came from the world of life coaching as a master life coach certification trainer. Did very well in that industry for about 10 plus years. And now here we are in Black Women in Grants over the last year, having brought you guys together from 400 to now 65,000 plus of you here on the Black Women in Grants TikTok page. Made nearly six figures in just the business side of it. And now, collectively over at BlackWomenInGrants.com in our Grant Game Mentorship, we have won over $168,550. God is so good. I'm so excited about it. I'm excited about those of you who are joining us in the mentorship on a scholarship that we have over at blackwomenandgrants.com. There are about 255 of you in the program as we speak at last count. I need to do my count again so that I make sure our numbers are updated. Try to remember to do that, but I go live so much, I be forgetting. <laughs> Come in, say hello. This is for black women, for profit, small business owners. I'm so excited to get to do, to get to do this type of work in the earth. Like, I don't know how to explain it, but just knowing that there are women here on TikTok Live with us right now who have businesses that they have started or they're looking to start soon and they're just looking for funding and opportunities to support them in their launch, in their growth. And I got the resources. I can help point you in the right direction. All you got to do is come on and chat with me, ask a couple questions, say hello when you come in. Let's engage. I love a good engaging conversation. That's why I'm here. I could be so many places, like Trader Joe's. I really want to go to Trader Joe's, but I don't want to get in the heat. I don't want to get in the traffic, and I don't want to fight people over this cute little bag I keep seeing on TikTok. So, I'm going to take my time. Eventually, I'll end up there because they got some cute restaurants near them. So, maybe, you know, I'll go to brunch, mosey on over to TJ's at some point, but... uh. I could be there, but I'm right here in front of my fan in the AC, in the bed, child. Talking to you. Hey, girl. How you doing? Hey, Cassandra. <laughs> so, welcome. Y'all come in and say hello. Just say, hey, girl. Hey. <laughs> Are y'all working on business this weekend? What is going on in your world? Are you looking at grants? This is a perfect weekend. Like, if you don't feel like going anywhere child you need to be scrolling the grants that are currently available because it's still the top of the month grants come out on our list that we give our mentees over at blackwomenandgrants.com a um they come out on the first sometimes we get the list early so that means you can get a real nice head start and if you dedicate like an hour today and an hour tomorrow to just search the list and see what grants are out there. Girl, do you know how far ahead of your competition you can be? And competition being those that are going to be applying for these same grant opportunities. Like, when you factor it into your schedule, I love knowing that every weekend I'm going into it with a plan. Like, okay, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. And then just knowing this is a part of my um you know regularly scheduled program so grants are going to be included in it do i have a business number i do do i have a business address you got to tell me more than just some random stranger asking me for my information who are you talk to me tell me what you want uh <laughs> so i'm on here with you guys today chatting about grants because as i mentioned it's the perfect weekend to get into it it's the top of the month and if you could see grants being a part of your financial funding for this year you're in the right place so if you're new here say hello in the chat i would love to say hello back 
um, let me know who you are and what you're doing. What's the business that you currently have that you're seeking grants for? Let me know that. Like you said, you are looking for grants. And so I want to help. You said I worded it wrong <laughs> to get grants. Do I need a business? Oh, okay. Thank you, girl. <laughs> I was like, what? Who are you? Um, yes, you need a business address for them to mail your check. And um, you really don't need a business phone number. But just if you give your personal phone number, don't be answering a phone like, who this? Hello? You know, you need to be... A little bit professional, so go on and get your Google Voice number. They're free, um, and you can use those especially for your great applications. So hopefully that helps. Now that we're clear on what you talking about, <laughs> Renee. <laughs> what other questions do you guys have? Let me know. I'm happy to chat and answer those questions. I love chatting about what the future could hold if you just take a minute. And paint the vision. Like if you really sat still and prepared your strategy for going into grants, you will be so far ahead of the game when it comes to these applications because it is a game. You do have to know how to play. <laughs> right. I'm happy too, girl. You had me nervous. Like, wait, why? People crazy, girl. What you want? So <laughs> I love knowing too, though, that when we're searching for these grants, everybody's results are different. And that's good because it's showing like who's really putting in the work and how it's working out for everybody. Like I love when our grantees check in with me. Um, Ashley Rankin just checked in. She won a scholarship like two days ago. We're about to feature her. And so um, she's putting in the work though. Same way uh, Deanna Joy is. She just won $76,000. So to see people putting in that work and it's working out different for everybody. Girl, I'm excited can't uh you said because right now i'm using my home address that is okay if you feel comfortable giving it out i've had uh i think two of my grant checks come to my home um i also won a small business home office decor giveaway that came to my home via ups which i prefer so yeah i mean it's up to you though you know nothing's private anyway so if random stalkers can get your information why wouldn't you give it to somebody who's writing you a check for your business that's how i look at it but other than that it's up to you some people get p.o boxes like i've had the p.o boxes the virtual addresses with like a co-work space you know it just depends on what you want to do what you feel comfortable doing um because that's your address and stuff also shows up when you um file like your articles of incorporation so all of that just should match what was the thing? It's something that I was... Oh, I was trying to start on the government grant side. And wherever your business is registered initially with your Secretary of State needs to match... Uh, I think it's like your Articles of Incorporation papers and your employer identification papers have to have the same address. But I've registered mine so long ago. Of course, it's a different address. And so that was holding me up. So... Just heads up, when you do register your addresses, just make sure they match because um, grants have never said anything about it, but the government has something to say. So, just heads up. So, um, what I like, though, is when you're putting in your effort, your time, your energy, um, the experiences you're going to start to see <laughs> they're very unique and original you're you're welcome okay and so when you're preparing your information you definitely want to be aware um that even though we go through all this stuff you know we look for these grants we apply for these grants our paperwork is in order we really give it our all when we're putting in the time but our results may vary and they can't be guaranteed so the fact is, you know, you may be learning as much as you can about grants, but also you may um, want to keep in mind that grants are going to also be expecting you to be making money in your business already. Um, or if you're a startup, you have to have that plan together where you can show them how you're going to make money. So whether you have made a lot of money or a little, 
or maybe you plan on making a lot of money or you might start making less than you currently do um grants are not your fill in the blank make up for the money you're not making in your business hope that makes sense <laughs> so when you see people who are applying for grants and winning grants just know that they are making sacrifices they're putting in the work but their results are not typical results because everybody's not putting in the same amount of work the results are coming out different for different people different people are um in different stages of their business different people have different strategies going into the grant game different people are applying for different amounts of grants there's so many variables going into this equation when it comes to making the math math okay so some people will win more um than others and some people will not win as much but you can really tell who is putting in the work because they're not getting the quote unquote typical results so even when the results are really really good you're like okay they must have been doing something different um and there's a way to just know that like they doing it they they got something that you probably need to know <laughs> so i watched the ladies in our mentorship and i keep up with who's winning what and who's reporting what and add it to our list and collectively we won well over six figures and so um you know while you can't ask for people's like financial records even though some grants have started to do that there's a grant out right now for five thousand dollars but they want you to have made fifty thousand dollars in the last year in your business so this is for businesses that are already established and making money that's why i say you got to be making money in your business for some grants to get on board and you fill out their entire application and then you get to the end they're like okay now prove <coughs> that you've made fifty thousand in the last year we want to see bank account statements would y'all submit a bank account statement <coughs> I was like, wow, they serious. So if a grant asked you for a copy of your bank account statement, um, some one grant I have seen asked for taxes. Some grants will ask for profit and loss statements. So if you're already in business, these are some things to consider whether or not you would submit those type of documents because they do get in your business. You said you have a concession business. I don't know what that entails. So you're asking me, do I think this is a good business looking for a grant? I think that any business that you have can qualify for a grant. You just got to know how to tell the story of your business. But you also need to be able to explain what it is clearly as well. So that people who are not in your industry gets it. So if you're new here, say hey. I'm Dr. AJ Austin. I've won over $63,550 in grants and grant funded opportunities. I'm so glad you are here. Hey, Timeless. Welcome. So tell me about y'all's business real quick. What do you do in the business that you're looking for a grant for? Talk to me about that. In uh, December of last year, we won Entrepreneur of the Year from a business training and development program <clears throat> that had partnered with Office Depot, Office Max, and um, we got a $500 gift card to shop at Office Depot, Office Max. We also won one of their decor contest giveaways for the home office where we got a desk, a chair, a filing cabinet, a journal, some pens, and some other fun office-like little accessories. And so I'm excited to share that program um, just gave out scholarships. They gave out 50 more scholarships to go through them. Hey, Classy. Welcome. So one of our Black Women in Grants is in my mentorship over at blackwomeningrants.com. Hello, Free Spirit. Welcome. You are early. You're not missing us this time. I'm so proud of you. So Ashley Rankin just emailed me that she got into this same program that crowned us Entrepreneur of the Year last year. And she also um, got a scholarship. So now she's within the networks, one of the networks that I'm in. I give y'all access to eight networks that I'm a part of that you can come join. And it's free um, to partner with those we partnered <clears throat> with. And so 
I love that for her because built within this one specific program, she has a scholarship to go through it. She gets mentorship. She gets training. She gets accountability and support um, through a peer network. She also gets access to applying for a small business pitch competition and other giveaways that they do. Um, and so just to see our black women in grants applying for and winning these opportunities, these wins count and they also help build your confidence to keep going. So that's really, really cool. Thank you for sharing about your business. Renee, what are you specifically looking for grants for in your business? Let me know. And anyone else here that wants to share what you're looking for grants for would be helpful. So I personally think it's essential to evaluate each grant that you look through. Like if you've never started a grant search, you're ahead of the game because these are some helpful tips to remind you of what to look forward to when you do start looking for grants. And these are essential. Like you really need to understand how each grant works on an individual level. So again, if you haven't started your search... Hopefully you're taking notes about what to look for in these grant opportunities. So I like to call it what to look for, what to look forward to, and what to look out for in the grant space. Because yes, there are scams. There are also really good benefits and really good perks for being in this space and even applying for grants, getting some of these consolation prizes that come with the applications. Also, it helps if you know what to look for as you're going into this space to really save yourself time. So Classy says she's looking for grants for marketing and expansion. What kind of marketing? What kind of expanding? Let me know because marketing comes in so many flavors. Um, and what kind of expansion? <clears throat> Let us know more about that for your business. So when it comes to grants, when you say things like, okay, I need a grant for marketing. What I hear is you may not need a check. Especially if you don't know the specific type of marketing. What you may need is some mentorship around marketing what your marketing should be looking like right now. You may need a brand redo. Like I won that in a part of a grant to where I didn't have to pay for that portion. I still got the grant and <clears throat> it came with a branding repackage. So like, do you need your website redone? Do you need your business cards redesigned? All of that is marketing. So when I ask you guys to get specific, this is what I'm talking about. But also built within some of these um, grant funded opportunities like business training and development programs called incubators and accelerators. We've partnered with eight programs like that. They have marketing for your business built in. For example, when we won Entrepreneur of the Year, our free marketing was them putting us on their social medias, in their newsletters and on their website. That's marketing. I didn't have to pay for that. So you have to ask yourself what type of marketing help you need. Are you trying to figure this out on your own? Are you trying to hire marketing staff to come in and do it for you? Or are you trying to get some coaching and mentoring around that area that's already factored into some programs that have already been paid for you? And you can get a scholarship to go through these programs and get that type of marketing help to where you have your own marketing plan laid out. And whether you're doing all the marketing yourself or you want to hire it out to a team, you have the vision for the marketing. You see what I'm saying? So when you just throw out the word marketing, it's not clear because um, I can't see that plan or that vision for you. But if you tell me what type of marketing, um, is it marketing where you want to write a book to do outreach? Well, there's a grant to help you write a book and there's a grant to help you market that book. Um <clears throat> Let me think. Marketing could be so many things. So that's why I ask you guys to get specific because you're going to have to paint that same vision for a grant as well. But I think it would be easier to win a grant funded opportunity where marketing is already factored into a business training and development program that's already been paid for and you get in free. You see what I'm saying? So it's saving you money 
from having to pay for quote unquote marketing. If you're trying to do it yourself, figure it out yourself, hire somebody new and y'all figure it out together versus a program that's already been structured. Mentorship and coaching has already been paid for and factored in and you get in free. That's three birds with one stone and you ain't got to pay nothing. You see what I'm saying? So hopefully this is helping to make sense. Said you just downsized, <clears throat> went from a boutique. Okay. So yeah, you just have to paint the vision for what you want your marketing to look like. And it's okay to have an idea of what you want it to look like. But then when you start to get into the grant space, you understand that grants have already been funded and factored in to help you with marketing, whether it's understanding it at the basic level or growing it on the next level. But you got to know what you want that to look like. And it needs to expand beyond just, you know, oh, I want to do Facebook ads, Google ads, blah, blah, blah. So marketing could look like hiring a whole team. It could look like just one person. It could look like you becoming educating on, educated on what it even is and what you want it to look like over the next six months to a year for your business. And then sharing that on your small business grant application versus just the blanket statement. I need help with marketing. Y'all see what I'm saying? If you have questions, let me know, because there are mentorships, there's coaching, there's training that's already funded through grants that offer scholarships that have been sponsored by business um, like the larger corporations, banks like Chase and JP Morgan Chase and Bank of America and Wells Fargo and Regions. They literally have funded programs to help you get that type of coaching and mentoring if that's something that you say you really need. And so because it's already sponsored and these opportunities are already developed, you don't have to go out and craft this stuff yourself. They're designed there to help you put it together along with like your business plan and your vision and mission statement and your value statement, um, helping you reach your target audience and getting your product and services marketed the right way, but through a strategy that fits your business and aligns with what their program does marketing wise. So if you've never designed like your unique selling proposition or if you don't know what your social impact is or if you need help with networking and pitching and presenting and financial projections and growth goals and plans and capturing your founder story, all of that is a part of these incubator and accelerator programs that are already taking place. And I give you a list of my top eight that I just absolutely love. I have went through these programs myself. I have been paid grants from them myself. And I do have three free lists of grants that I send you when you join me over at blackwomenengrants.com in our mentorship. You get in for one year for only 97 bucks and that's a scholarship price. So come join us and invest in that if that's something that you could see really helping your business because one of the most important things in this space is to be offered guidance and support where you're not trying to figure it out yourself. And what I really love is strategizing for the future where grant opportunities to come plug and play. So for example, <clears throat> Don was one of my first private grant clients who hired me like, I want you out of myself, teach me everything you know, take my money. And so we worked together for three months and she told me all about what she wanted a grant for. And so I um, helped her map out her strategy. Oh, the website is in the chat. Blackwomenengrants.com is the site. Um, www.blackwomenengrants.com. So Dawn is over there. You'll get to meet her. She is a publisher of books for women. And so her dream was to travel to different countries and go to conferences there and learn about their rules and how they do things in the media world when it came to writing books. And then she wanted to bring that information back to the States and help other countries translate their books and sell from country to country. And so once we got Dawn's strategy of what she wanted to do with the travel, the conferences, interpreting books, lo and behold... I get a notification in my inbox that there's a $25,000 grant designed to help you travel to different <laughs> conferences and get financial support to do it. We were both blown away at the timing of it all. I knew it was possible. We just didn't expect it to happen so fast. So she applied for her very first grant out the gate for $25,000. And that just lifted her spirits. And she caught the what we call the high of the apply. Because once you apply for your first grant, especially your first five-figure grant, 
it's over. You are about to look for every opportunity you can. And it's amazing that that type of guidance and support is available when you get your strategy together for the future grant opportunities versus going into it blind or trying to figure it out later. So hopefully this is helping you guys. Hopefully it's making sense um, along with the importance of tracking your progress as you're applying for these grants. Ashley Rankin, she's one of our mentees in the Black Women in Grants dot com mentorship called the grant game and she got her scholarship to join us for only 97 dollars for the year she just emailed me yesterday she won a scholarship to get into a new program i shared with her and she's also won eighty five hundred dollars in grants and other grant funded opportunities and so to keep up with the grants that she's applied to and the one she's been awarded and the one she has to follow up with and the one she's waiting to hear back from, she put together something called a grant tracking template. And so she leaves the links of all the grants she's applied to, etc., in this template. And she's now sharing it with all 250 plus of the women in our mentorship over at blackwomeningrants.com. And so you have Ashley to thank for designing this phenomenal spreadsheet where you can literally type in the name of your grant and how much it is and what it's for and then go revisit the ones that she's applied to and just follow the path that she's laid out. She's applied to now over $120,000 in grants and her win rate is going up. So when you learn my fun finding formula, your win rate goes from 0% because you really don't know what you're doing. So of course you're not winning grants because you ain't applying for the right ones. You definitely don't know what to say. When you start implementing the formula that Ashley's doing, Deanna Joy's doing, um, I'm doing, and so many more of our clients who have won opportunities from scholarships that are funded by grants to flat out grant checks, etc., small business pitch competitions and more, then your win rate goes up to 10%, which is phenomenal. So with her having applied to over 120000 and now her win rate is over 8500 we got to add in the scholarship she just won this week, um, it's really good. So I'm watching in real time people like Ashley go from not wanting to submit scholarship applications if they ask for a video essay or people who are not confident in talking about their business, like one of our coaches you'll meet in our AI class. I teach you how to partner your brain with the brain of an AI, talk to it the right way, because there's a special way you have to prompt and um, engineer these prompts to get it to do what you need it to do. And now seeing these same people win grants that started out with no clue on what they were doing, it's amazing. So I really enjoy seeing the real time growth. I love looking back and being able to like, pinpoint exactly when things started to shift so being able to track your progress being able to keep up with your small business grant applications that you've submitted the deadlines whether or not they've met or they've been met um, and knowing that you have the type of guidance and support that you need to work out your strategy going into the future grant opportunities plus mentorship and help with crafting the things that your business needs to pull it together to pitch for more funding in the future. This goes into understanding the small business grant eligibility requirements. So you're not just guessing your way through the process. So a lot of people, many have mentioned how when they hear of a grant or they get a link to a grant application, they just flat out go apply versus pausing Visit your goals. What is your strategy? Okay, I need this much to do this thing in my business. And even if it's not a check, here's another opportunity that I would love. And what I love about some of the grants I'm seeing lately, they're asking, even if you don't win a check from us, how else can we support you? And so that was one of the responses Ashley got from a foundation grant that she heard back from earlier this year. And she was so ecstatic because she's like, oh, they're still willing to help even if they don't give me cash right away. They're like, can we make a connection for you? Can we send you some resources? Can we refer you to another training and development program? Like, what do you feel like you need in addition to the grant fund? So imagine that you run across grant opportunities where you may not get the check the first time around, but they can connect you 
to a business program that's going to help you get to the next level in your marketing, in your sales, in your overall strategy. And that's going to make your application even stronger for the next grant or the next time you apply for that same grant with the next go round. You see what I'm saying? So opportunities can and do often pop up, but you got to be ready and you got to have a plan. And a lot of people don't want to put this type of work into going to apply for grants. They just want to apply and either win or get rejected and pout either way. Because either it's not enough or they didn't win yet, but they're wondering why. So hopefully some of the things that I'm sharing with you is getting your brain open and your mind going and you're like, oh, okay, I could see this working. I'm starting to understand this. And if you're serious about taking grants on as a part of your business, because some businesses do run off of grants, adding additional revenue in their business. I'm one of them. However, my business, thank God, is not solely dependent on winning grants. So I have no choice but to get better every time I apply for a grant. And now I look for certain opportunities, better quality opportunities that meet me where I am in my business with my grant application strategy. I've exceeded the amount of grants that I've wanted to win. Now I got to set a new goal and set a new strategy and go forth. And now we're in our five figure funding area uh, era, shall I say, Um, the last grant that we were selected for at the top of this year was for a $50,000 grant that um, they had 500 people apply to. And so I used my simple techniques like using AI and got selected out of the 500 for round two of this opportunity. And I love that for us because I am sharing the same skills that I personally use that work and that win And now our black women in grants are doing the same thing. Our mentees are doing the same thing and getting selected for opportunities they didn't even know existed. They knew they could use them, but they didn't even know where to find them. And so now being able to better understand these small business grants and the eligibility requirements, this is going to help us all determine that our Black woman-owned small businesses actually do meet the criteria and other requirements that the grant providers set. And that also means that we'll be able to identify and better vet small business opportunities. We're less likely to fall for scams or fall for something that's not true because we know what we're doing. We've developed our skill. We know what to look for in these applications on the websites and the platforms from these small business grants that are provided by these outside organizations that have been funded by these bigger corporations. And this is more considered the private grant world. Are there any questions about anything that I've shared so far? Is this shedding a different light on the grant space for you? Are you picking up new information that could help you in the future as you start to look for grants, apply for grants, get help looking for, applying for, and winning grants? Just talk to me in the chat and let me know, even if you're just jumping in. Hopefully you've heard something that is going to help take your business to the next level in this space if you're willing to put in the work. And so over at blackwomeningrants.com, I actually, let me put the link to the website back in our chat. TikTok won't let me pin it, but it is in our chat. There we go. And so you can just write that down, go there, screenshot it. But it only takes two minutes to come join us. And there you'll find the case study that I mentioned about using AI to apply for small business grants, along with the essay prompts that you need to be able to engineer the right languaging for things like chat GPT to help you with your small business grant applications. Um, Also how to use this artificial um, uh, intelligence to apply for these grants the right way. In addition to, I give you guys five grant specific tips for applying for business grants as a black woman owned small business. Yes, Free Spirit. The replays are always in our TikTok replay playlist. I just uploaded some to YouTube last night. So our replays are always there for the videos that you guys may miss or anytime I go live um, and you miss it or you come in late or you have to leave early. You can always go back and listen to the replays in the TikTok replay playlist. 
that is in the mentorship. Just click the link and you'll see all 180 plus episodes of every time I've been here live with you guys. Three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, 11 a.m. Eastern, plus our pop-ups for the last year. It's all over there. <laughs> a lot of work, but we got it done, right? Um, what's also in the mentorship is the 10 secrets to winning grants for black women, small business owners. And this is just the stuff that I put in my book called Finding Funding, which we use as the core curriculum, um, which is your starting base. For learning about grants and grant funded opportunities that are debt free, meaning you don't have to pay them back. It's not a loan. They're not going to come back and take the money usually as long as you do right by them and the money. Do what you said you was going to do. Um, but we do go over like, be careful too because you don't want to be <laughs> selected or deselected for the money either. There are levels to grants. There are meaning... Um, this all depends on how long you want to invest in applying for grants. Some people can't handle um, a 30 minute grant application. Some people refuse to take an hour out of their time to go through the grant application process. So some people have literally told me they want it the easy way. What's quick? I just want to put my name address and where to send the check. And I had to break it down by level. And so it is not only by level, meaning what may seem like it takes a long time to apply for in the beginning, the more grant applications you get out there, you're going to do like me and Ashley. We keep track of our time. So an application that would take me a whole eight hour day and a mental breakdown. Now I can get through it in an hour or less. And Ashley's the same way. She's got her time down from two hours or got it two, two hours. I forgot. She told me recently, um, but it makes a difference. So I say all of that to say, you may see an application, you may get overwhelmed, you may want to shut down. We were just talking about this. Uh, was it earlier today or was it? Yeah, it had to be yesterday. I think this is my first live of the day. All my days run together now. But <laughs> we were talking about this recently, how um, one of our mentees did get overwhelmed because the application asked her so many questions that she just shut down and she didn't even fill out the application. And I get it. One of the recent grants that I won for a $1,500 scholarship to go through a 10-month training program um, asked 75 questions about your business. It's like the questions kept going and going and going, and I was having a ball. I was like, look at me balling out, can answer all these questions, boom, 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 check it off. And I was doing the application. I told the same person that got me involved with grants about this application. And when I told her how many questions it was, she was like, I'm out. <laughs> I ain't even going to do it. I ain't even going to try. So she didn't finish her application, but I'm glad I finished mine because I ended up getting a scholarship to go through the training program. So glad I did it. It's made such a difference in like the support that I have for my next level. So I wrote the book, Finding Funding, that's in our mentorship over at blackwomenandgrants.com while I was in this program. They supported me the whole way. They've invited me to their headquarters in Washington, D.C. to host an event and speak there. Um, and they are supported by some big names, some big foundations that I didn't even know about till recently. And so to know that it makes a difference in your patience level to just sit and answer questions about your business to the best of your ability and know that they're going to go through and read your answers. They're also there's a possibility they're using your answers to um, put together some of these trainings. So if they know that you need help speaking or with certain topics or with certain parts of your business, they can now cater their program to fit your needs better because they can see your answers on your small business application. So I took the liberty of downloading my application when I got accepted last year. I put it in the Finding Funding ebook over at blackwomenandgrants.com. That's a part of our mentorship. And you get to see the literal conversation between the grant check writers about me. I had nothing to do with anything. They were just going through my 75 questions. I put all the questions in the book and you could see how I answered them. You can see the conversation that they had because it was in red writing and they're asking each other, do you think she's a good fit for this program? Why or why not? Tell us the reason we should award her. Why or why not? And to see the reasons that they're telling each other that I qualify for the scholarship for their program is enlightening because it's like, oh, 
This is what people mean when they say your brand is all about the conversation that's taking place in a room you're not even in. The only thing was in that room was my application and my video I had to submit and my answers to the questions on the applications. And here they were having a discussion in writing, making a decision. And I think my score was like a 77 out of like 100, which I'm fine with, you know, because when you learn how grants are graded, that's a perfect score almost. And so to know that I got in and I was a part of 13 percent because they said only 13 percent of people who actually make it through the 75 questions get in. I'm going to take my 77 points in and my scholarship. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So, yeah. <laughs> so hopefully that's encouraging for you guys to. You know, put in these uh, applications. Don't give up because there are levels to this. There are time frames to get the application in, to hear back. Um, grants are awarded at different amounts. So it just depends on, um, like I said, how much do you need? And then it's going to be versus how much the grant is awarding. And so when you familiarize yourself with frequently asked questions on these small business grant applications you start to get into the skill of not only applying for the grants, but keeping up with the process, with the time frame, with the skill levels. And you know that there's a process for checking in with the grant, following up with the grant, even following up with some people who have won the grant before you. So in the book, I give you a list of questions and even an email to literally copy and paste and send to some of these grants that you send your applications in for plus tips on making sure you stay in the right side of the grants and you don't lose those grants. So if you're a person that's like, I want to start applying for grants, but dot, 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 they're asking for a video. Well, we have a template for that because business video pitch competitions and video essays to get into some of these grant funded programs need examples of what winning one looks like. I've seen a lot of bad videos and I've taken a lot of notes from a lot of good videos that I like that I've seen from people who have won grants before me. And now I use one of my videos as a template for what it looks like to win small business pitch competitions, grants, grant funded opportunities, and even the scorecard in the book from the grant that gave me the scholarship last year, they're saying she would make a phenomenal speaker based on um, our video essay. We want to have her in our headquarters to host an event. So they are judging all of this, but it helps if you have these templates going in. So if you're a person that's shy on camera or like, what do I say? What do I talk about? We got you, girl. Um, Free Spirit said I've been in and out, but this is an absolute informative video. Thank you, Free Spirit. So real quick, if you're new here, just put hashtag FYP or if you've been here before, just put hashtag FYP. Let's get some more people into this conversation. I'll be here with you guys a few more moments just chatting about grants for your black woman owned small business. It is deeper than just getting a link and an application and going and applying and sitting back and folding your thumb or folding your arms and twiddling your thumbs and expecting to win. If grants are really something that you're interested in, that you can see yourself winning, that you can see being a part of your financial plan for the future, this type of information is vital to know. This is your foundational information so that you don't end up getting scammed or getting taken advantage of and you really know what you're doing and what you're getting into in the grant space. This takes away the confusion of how long does it take to win a grant? Do I qualify? Is it a scam? Is it worth it? Should I do it? Blah, blah, blah. This is answering all of those questions. Even the question of should I try to do this on my own as far as do I need to go hire somebody to try to do this for me? Nobody knows your business like you. And you need to be able to understand your business applying for grants, what that application process looks like, what your grant application strategy should look like. You need to know that before you could even pass that off to someone. You want them to get it right. And so if you need help with business grant essay writing examples or essay writing tips, we provide that in the mentorship over at blackwomeningrants.com plus Everything that you need to have as you're applying for these grants, there's a checklist. It's a two part checklist. One is for you if you're just starting your business and one is for you. One is for you if you've already been making money in your business. Two totally different checklists 
but you want to have everything on this checklist as you're going to apply for these opportunities because you don't want to get to an application and they're asking for a document that you don't have and now you're taking up more time and you may end up missing the grant deadline waiting to get some of this. And so I put together that checklist to make sure you're good beforehand so that you can be a part of the grant funding cycle because you got everything in on time, including your application with the most frequently asked questions. And then you are more alert as to um, what application seemed right for you because every grant that you see or that you even want to apply for may not be the ideal fit for you. And you definitely want to learn how to avoid small business grant scams where people will take your money or they'll say they'll apply on your behalf or they'll try to guarantee you a grant, but no grant is guaranteed. And so you end up losing money. So during our time so far, I've talked about business incubators, business accelerators, and how there are programs that are already funded to help you. Um, this is how I got started on my journey to securing over $68,550 in grants and grant funded opportunities. And it did not take long. It just takes consistency. Because as I mentioned, grants can show up like checks. They can show up like scholarships, competitions, contests, giveaways. Um, so many things are factored into how the funding can look. But you just have to know how you need it to look for your business. And it starts out with that uh, grant application strategy. And we talk about all of this in the mentorship over at www.blackwomenengrants.com. Blackwomenengrants.com. That is pinned in the chat. Um, you can get into the mentorship. It's a year long. Um, and it's only 97 bucks. It's usually more than that. <laughs> And we have the scholarship available today. If you want to come get in for the $97 price investment, you can come hang out with us and learn so much more. I've interviewed several of our grant winners, like Deanna Joy, who has won over $76,000. Um, Ashley Rankin did our grant tracking worksheet. And then I had an interview with um, a grant check writer of over a hundred thousand dollar opportunity. She was actually on the grant team helping make the decision, influencing the decision of who got that one hundred k and how it was broken down and explaining it to us and reviewing our applications. And I just found out how these next level grants work and what we need to be ready for. So in addition to the grant tracker. I also, tomorrow I'm sending out our weekly email we, where we do our mini master classes. And um, those come to your inbox directly. I usually try to be in touch with you guys at least once a week. Hey, Top Notch, welcome back. And so um, there are people like Eartha you'll meet on the Black Women in Grant site. She's in the mentorship and she recently won a small business pitch competition here in Atlanta. Pitching her business for the first time. She won $250 in 60 seconds. And I'm so proud of her. And so I put together a little PR pitch competition. Um, if you were to go like on a little press tour. Which she did. After she won and got features. On a couple of more websites. And got some more marketing. Free marketing for her business. As a result of her grant win. So I'm sharing what I'm doing behind the scenes, what our grant winners are up to as they win, plus the partner programs that we have where you can go and just fill out an application when their applications are open, apply for scholarships to get into these programs because we partner with them. And then this is our way of doing things like getting grants to come to you. Um, someone asked about a list of grants. We give you three lists of grants every month. And that's a part of the mentorship. They're updated at the top of the month every month. So like I said, today is a perfect day if you're just chilling, got an extra 30 minutes or so. You can scroll through the list of grants, scroll through the database, scroll through the spreadsheet. It's three different things and just see which grants catch your eye. You can click the links, read about their eligibility and go apply. Get your application in if their applications are open. Get on the email list of the ones that are not open at the moment. Um, and then listen to the interview with Deanna Joy, who 
her first round, she won $55,000. She won $50,000 from her credit union, and then she won $5,000 from another um, business training and development program. She just won a collective total of $76,000 in total, and she just applied for her first million-dollar grant, and she also helped her client upgrade their technology and win, I think it was some Mac products. So it's really cool to see what just reading the Finding Funding ebook can do for you. What joining a community of black women who are applying and winning these opportunities can do for you as well. If that's something you can see yourself being a part of. Are there any questions about anything we've talked about so far? My favorite part of the program is that we have replays of our master class, our virtual event, and our two-day boot camp events that you can go back and listen to and watch and take notes from and ask questions if you have them. I'm available via email for those of you in the mentorship. So you can just, you know, send me an email. Ask me a question about the video, about the training, about where you are in the Finding Funding ebook. We also have an app that'll read the book to you it's really cool so to know that these type of resources are available for those of you who are like i wonder how this works i wonder how this goes i wonder can i do this <laughs> should i try to do this you absolutely can do this and so over at blackwomeningrants.com that's our mentorship that has the books, the master classes, the database lists of grants, our TikTok replay playlists, our interviews and notes and recaps from calls that I've done, um, sharing with you insider tips into the grant game. And you receive the links for immediate access to each of these digital products following your registration, getting in for the scholarship. Karmic says at any point, at any point, what? Like, ask me your question specifically so I make sure I follow. Um, one thing I'm going to do for those of you who are joining is add you guys to what we call our Grant Prep Academy email list. And that's the list that goes out on Sundays. So you'll be the first to know about where we are, what we got going on. I've been sharing what's going on with me lately and where the business is headed. In addition to business grants and grant funded opportunities. And then, of course, I'm here with you guys on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 11 a.m. Eastern answering your questions live. So between being able to email me or jump on here live three times a week <laughs> to get your questions answered, this is the accountability and support that we offer in the mentorship. So the Grant Game Mentorship is for you if you're a for-profit black woman small business owner based in the united states as long as you're over the age of 18 and you own at least 51 percent of your business and you're seeking small business grants to start or to continue to grow and scale your business you meet that qualification karmic says i was asking about the book can you start at any point in your business i said the first part of my question i guess and then come through yeah, I didn't see the first part of your question for some reason. Um, but yeah, you can start the book at any time. You can read the ebook on your phone, your tablet or iPad, on your Bapruda, as my little niece used to say. Um, your laptop, your desktop. Or you can download the app and it'll read it on all of those devices as well. And then Deanna Joy, she's on her third time reading the book. So... And then who was that that joined us recently told me she just finished. But most people go back through it again because it's so detailed and specific about the grant application process. So you want to make sure you're feeling well equipped and confident to go into your next grant application. So yeah, you always have access to it. You download it on your devices. Some people print it out. I do give you permission to do that as long as you're not trying to pass it off as your own. You're good. We ain't got to... You know, get into the legalistics of everything. Um, but grants and joining the mentorship and getting access to the resources, it's a great place to be for you if you're not in a place where you're financially struggling. 
Like if you need nine, that last $97 to pay your rent or to eat or to get your kids something, please do not take the chance thinking, I'm going to pay this, I'm going to go learn this real quick, and I'm going to go win a grant real quick because that's not how that works, okay? So I got to put that out there. But if you want to know my secrets to how I took time, learn the industry, apply these secrets one by one, share them with you, everything that I know, I'm happy to answer questions. You take the information, implement it, go apply, work within the timeline of the grants, not rushing anything, not trying to make anything work, not trying to hurry anything, not putting your expectations on other people. Then this may be the right environment for you. These are all about grants and grant funded opportunities. It does take time. It does take investment from financial investment of you getting into the mentorship, investment in learning the materials, taking notes, applying the information, investment in looking for grant opportunities, putting in your applications, sitting down and completing your applications, giving the grants time to make the decisions, learning whether or not you won the grant yet, continuing to repeat the process until you win. And then you repeat the process as you win more grants. It's an ongoing commitment to applying the same steps that I show you that I did, that other black women in grants are doing, and we're winning, it's working, and we're not letting it drive us crazy or overwhelm us, and we're not trying from a desperate place to be able to say, oh, I want a grant. We're genuinely going through this process together and saving years because it took me years to learn what I share with you guys in a book and in these classes that you get the replays to. And so if you're ready to make that type of commitment to just reading, watching videos, you know, going through the replays, coming on here live a couple times a week, talking to us, learning how to find and secure these grant and grant funded opportunities then the mentorship is for you. But if you're someone who needs unlimited access to me, customized private one-on-one handholding, you want to call me, you want to text me, you want to stop by, you want to tell me you in my city so we can go to lunch, this ain't that because I don't offer none of that. Okay, I'm recovering from two blood transfusions, severe anemia, fainting twice, seven injections, an overnight hospital stay. And I just literally do not have the strength, the energy, the time, or the desire to burn myself out. (laughs) So, because I am getting my energy back, getting back to me, and having to even restructure how I can show up and serve you guys, this is how I offer my services to you. It's already packaged. It's already ready to roll you're not waiting on me for anything everything is previously recorded i am available on these um lives when i do them as well as via email and again that's where your investment comes into play so no you can't inbox me here on tiktok no one can anymore no you can't just randomly email me no i can't just send you just the list of grants from the program make the investment in yourself in your business in your future And you'll thank me later that this is how I was able to show up. So if you're looking for someone, I just want to hire somebody to do the work for me. Or you're not willing to go through this step-by-step process. This is probably not the program for you. But you're welcome to, you know, come and hang out with us on our lives when you see us here. Um, But that's all I got. I wanted to show up and share with you guys a little bit about the mentorship. About what is available answer your questions if you have them the link for the mentorship is over at blackwomeningrants.com www.blackwomeningrants.com so if you want one of the scholarship spots that's currently available go scoop it up now if you're at the blackwomeningrants.com site getting registered and you need my help logging in let me know and i can help you get logged in while i'm here with you guys i am about to wrap up Unless you have any questions, 
Um, and registering today, you'll be sent your instant access links to all of the trainings and the book and the list of grants and the list of our program partners. Um, so you get access to everything all at once. And again, you ain't waiting on me. <laughs> Are there any questions before I go and either take a nap or go for a walk? One of them go win. <laughs> Thank you, Karmic. I appreciate it. Do you have any final questions before we go? Let me know. One thing I do want to leave you guys with is just don't let what looks like a funding limitation hold you back. Oh, we have Karma, Karma, Klarna and Afterpay on the scholarship site. So even with the $97 price or investment to come and hang out with us for the year in the mentorship, there's Klarna and Afterpay available for that $97 if that's something that you need and can work it out with them. So just click the special link on the Black Women in Grants page. It'll take you there and let you get started right away. And yeah, that's all I have. I'm just going through my notes, making sure I didn't miss anything. But thank you guys for hanging out, for getting your questions answered, sharing with me about your business and what you're looking for grants for. I look forward to bringing you more helpful information very, very soon. Until we meet again, my friends, you have a phenomenal rest of your day. Make sure you follow this page, Black Women in Grants. It's about 65,000 plus of y'all. Turn your notifications on so you know when we're live. And I'll see you soon. Enjoy the rest of your day. God bless. Bye, future grant winners. <laughs>